We turn next to the United States, where Fox News is paying a price, but not as steep a price as the news channel might have for airing false claims about the 2020 presidential election. Magda Gabriel Salasa is back with us from Washington, looking into this uh, as we were anticipating the trial yesterday. Fox News, before the trial really began, agreeing to pay Dominion Voting Systems, Magda, nearly $800 million U.S. to settle that defamation suit. How did it all play out? Well, as you said, the trial wrapped up before it even started. So there was a two and a half hour delay. And in the end, a deal was reached. So Fox has to pay Dominion Voting Systems more than $787 million settling this lawsuit around the network airing lies about the election machines being rigged to steal votes for Trump, uh, from Trump rather. Now, originally taking this to trial, Dominion was seeking $1.6 billion in damages. The company already had a big win in the pre-trial stage. That was when the judge ruled that what Fox aired was false. But Dominion had to prove that Fox aired the false claims with actual malice, so knowing the claims were lies or just ignoring the truth and really strengthening its case were text messages and emails that were released that showed Fox on-air personalities and executives doubting the fraud claim. So with all of that, many legal analysts said Dominion had a strong case and they could win the trial. Clearly, Fox was worried enough to settle this in the end. Now, Fox's lawyers had nothing to say leaving the courthouse yesterday, but here's how Dominion's leaders and legal team reacted. Throughout this process, we have sought accountability and believe the evidence brought to light through this case underscores the consequences of spreading lies. Money is accountability, and we got that today from Fox, but we're not done yet. Now, Fox did release a statement, and in this part, it says, quote, We are pleased to have reached a settlement of our dispute with Dominion Voting Systems. We acknowledge the court's rulings, finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. Now, what you don't see in the statement is an apology, and that apparently wasn't a requirement to seal the deal, Heather. You know, this one's behind us, but both companies, MACTA, could be back in court again once more over the 2020 election coverage. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so Dominion is pursuing legal action against other broadcasters for also airing the false claims of rigged machines during the 2020 election. It's suing two far-right media outlets, Newsmax and One American News. It is also going after those that were in Trump's circle, that were doing those interviews and spreading the false claims. As for Fox, well, it's still facing a lawsuit from another election technology company for the same reasons as this case. You have Smartmatic that is seeking $2.7 billion in damages. Now, the question is, will Fox try to reach a deal with that company too, or will that go to trial? We'll see. We will. Magda, thank you for all of that. Magda Gabrosalasa in Washington.